And Ryan Miller, who made this film about his transplant experience, joins me now. This is an extraordinary story. Did you ever have any second thoughts about wanting to share all this to open this up with, with the public? Not for a second. Um, we wanted to let the people know that this kind of thing could happen to anybody. I was a regular kid playing sports in high school, and I got sick, and then I needed a heart transplant. We just wanted to let as many people know as possible that organ donation is important, and we need to let people know about it. There's a, a, a sense that comes through you, having known you before, during, and now after this series, um, that you are a strong person, you're an optimistic person, you're always kind of seeing the good stuff. Were there moments there where you really kind of wonder whether you were going to make it? There were times in the hospital when I was mentally checked out. Um, the days were really long, the nights were even longer. Um, but my family was there to support me the whole way. My parents, my brother, friends and family, aunts, uncles, everybody was there with me the whole time whenever I needed support. So really, I mean, the family, this is probably something that either brings the family closer together or can kind of tear them apart with worry and fear. This, I think, brought my family closer than ever. Um, we, you know, we found out how tough we were as people and how strong we were as a family, and this really proved that we are one of the stronger families. Uh, it's vividly de demonstrated throughout the course of the film. But you had to confront questions that most young people don't confront and most older people don't want to confront. Questions about mortality, questions about this thing we call life. What went through your mind? I never really thought about death while I was in the hospital. I really just was focused on getting out and getting healthy and getting back to living my life the way I was before I was in the hospital. Were you convinced? I mean, the, the drama here is, is so sustained throughout. Getting together with the donor's family, were you always convinced that you wanted to do that? I knew from the get-go that if they were ready for us, we were certainly ready for them. That was the big thing for me, was I wanted to bring the Tucker family some closure. I thought that was the most important thing. And having gone through this experience, what, what do you say now? Do you deal with others who are going down the same road? I've spoken to a few people who were in the hospital waiting for transplants, just told them about my experience and told them that things do get better. You know, uh, when you're at the lowest of low, it might seem like it's never going to change. But things do get better, and, and, and you will get through things. I want to point out to the audience, Ryan's Heart Series is on our website, njtvonline.org. If you missed any of it or you want to see it again, you can do so there. Ryan will be answering questions live 6.30 p.m. right after the initial feed of this broadcast uh, for half an hour. You can find it on uh, NJTV Online on Facebook or Twitter. And uh, congratulations on um, not only just a, an extraordinarily inspirational story, but on having the skill and the ability and, and the collaboration with your team to present it in such an extraordinary way. And, and we, we thank you for sharing your story. Thanks.